How's it going? Mine? Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 with me, Noble. Now, before I get started, I want to bring this out. This was actually, <clears throat> I've been waiting on it for a couple, a uh, little while. My sister, during my birthday, got me a special present, her and her husband. And I gotta say, uh, it's pretty amazing. Now, obviously, it's not complete. This is a 3D printed 10 millimeter pistol from Fallout. So, you know, the, the Fallout games, <laughs> you know. Uh, this is the main pistol. I have to paint it. Uh, assemble it, of course. This actually comes out in quite a few nice little pieces. Let's see if I can remember how to pull it apart. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of neat. I was like, oh, man, that is so cool that, you know... Well, I can't seem to get it to come completely apart. Nope, oh, there we go. I was pushing the wrong way. So, yeah. Breaks down in a couple big chunks, but, uh... For the most part... Let's slide that back in there. There we go. So, I finally got it in. I got all the rest of the parts in here. Even came with a little, uh, little, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, cassette tape thing from the uh, Pit Boys. Which, by the way, I still got my Pit Boys, so now I got two of those little guys. I still need to put the Pit Boy together. I need to put this together. So, this is awesome. I don't think I'm going to do the, uh, you know, because Fallout, it's a solid black. There's no fun in the solid black uh, pistol. I think I'm going to do it two-tone. I think we're going to make the grip here black, and I think the back grip and the upper receiver up here is going to be a different tone. I'll probably do black, and then uh, probably... I'll probably do a mix of black and the tone that I'm going to choose. I'm thinking either olive drab or sand. I'm not really sure. And then for our uh, hammer and our trigger, I'll probably go silver. So, I'll think about it, but... Hopefully I'll do a video on painting this and getting it assembled and everything, so that'll be fun. And I can't wait to do that, so that was my birthday present from my little sister. And uh, it will be hanging up on the wall back here eventually. I'll probably move or take down one of these, uh, make room for it, so <laughs> it's going to be great. I can't wait to get into that. Anyway, I just want to show that off before. I'm also going to do that same thing, showing it off in my Fallout video, so... You know, in the next Fallout episode that comes out, you may want to skip a few minutes if you've already seen this one. But, hey, you know. Anyway, thank you for joining me, and let's get started. Now, I went ahead and uh, uh, took care of putting up that key. we still got this. I probably could have put this away, but, man, whatever. I also, uh, when I put away the uh, that little uh, key from the end of the last episode, the uh, computer key, which, by the way, could have broke any computer and taken the keys off of it, and finished... Uh, <laughs> the key bindings. It's not like the keys are, you know, oh, you can only put a number zero key in the number zero spot. Nah, it's, they're all this little, like, cross-hatched Phillips head looking plugs, usually. Got some more gunpowder, so I made some more bullets. So we uh, got some more bullets, and yes, as I said before, we got our achievement from uh, in the last episode of, uh, bye, of uh, taking down Mr. X's hat. <laughs> Got uh, the tyrant's hat shot off his head, so we got the little uh, miniature model of him. Damn it. The second playthrough definitely is a little bit more difficult, which I like. Some more 45. Yes, we'll put that there, get it out of the way. Okay, I switched back to this, but I think I need to activate this because we're probably going to need the knife downstairs. Gotta save as much of this 9mm ammo as we can. We're gonna be combining the large packs of gunpowder because it makes you like 40 or 50 rounds per stack. So we definitely gotta combine the large gunpowders together. We're not gonna combine it with any small stacks. That'd be... Oh jeez, that sound always makes me have almost a heart attack. I'm like, giant dog or something, you know? It's like some uh, Dark Souls <laughs> giant dog or something show up. Uh, put that there. We're not using anything else. Hey, buddies. I'm here for the picnic. By the way, it's nice to know that in the run one, that this is boarded up. And I guess these guys pounded on it so much, it just knocked this off. That's all I can figure. So, if Claire comes through here round one, it breaks off. And that's the way I look at it. But still, you really think that they should have done something different, because Cle uh, Leon, Cleon, Claire and Leon mixed together, uh, Leon and Claire can't both uh, put out the fire in the helicopter, so somebody has to do it, somebody has to not do it.
No. Oh. Ooh, good timing. And that's why I didn't use the uh, accidental flashbang. Come on, just fall over. Oh man, that was close. Ah, oh, crap! Too close! Too close! Alright. Yeah, that wasn't very nice of you. I'm just gonna turn you into a bit of mush right now because of that. Yeah, I took off the leg too. Well, we'll be hobbling around for a little bit. Any more items out here? No, we're good. Okay. Get ourselves a nice new bite mark on our shoulder. Right through the Kevlar, too. That's that's a bad sign when your Kevlar gets bite marks and blood through it. That's more small gunpowder. Guess we'll be making some more small bullets coming up. That's right, chap. Ah, good times. And great oldies right here on the Resident Evil channel. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, no. We're still storing that, so we now have a total of 26 shotgun shells, 18 magnum rounds, and 16 large caliber uh, uh, 45 rounds. We're almost going to be able to make another stack of uh, uh, 50 cal. Uh, so, mm, yeah, put that right there. We are not really going to use the shotgun until we at least get the first upgrade. I would like to have both upgrades and pretty much just use the shotgun for the last half of the game, if I can help it. Lightning Hawk is pretty much to be pulled out only during boss battles, in my opinion. There we go. I accidentally uh, messed my stack up. Alright, so. Mm, put that away. We might get a red herb. I'll keep that on right now. We got a decent stack of mixed herbs. And like usual, since we're recording, we'll go ahead and save because I don't want to risk losing whatever I've recorded. Getting bit in the neck and everything. Alright. I'm still curious what the last safety deposit uh, missing key is. Oh, almost forgot. Giant yellow switches! So I kind of wonder if this is like some rainwater collection that they store up here on this roof and then send it back through when they need it or something. Kind of a, a interesting way of doing things. The only place I know I have rooftop uh, uh, water storage is like New York. I don't know if any other places really did that. If you happen to, well, great. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if you do or don't, I guess, but that's the only one I only place I know that has that. I still have a problem with the fact the helicopter is sticking out far too far. Because up to I guess about right where the doorway was was inside the building before. You know, where the uh, where we first came across the crash helicopter and the dead uh, pilot was laying there and the caught fire. It was far, not as far in the building, that is. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Lovely. I still think it would have been great. If you haven't got a chance, go watch the original Resident Evil 2 uh, Tyrant uh, intro. Where he comes dropping out of the sky, busts through the freaking roof, lands right in front of you, and he's like, Time to kill! You know? It just straight up comes in and starts wrecking. <laughs> No need to even bother. I mean, I never even shot him the first two playthroughs I did. I only got the achievement recently, because I'm like, there's no but no reason to shoot this guy. Just go around him. Hey, where's your hat, buddy? Alright. You you mad about that, huh? Well, you just hang out back there. I'll just uh I'll just take care of this. Bum bum ba da ba bum bum. I'm getting chased now. Giant zombie.
Conserve your ammunition. I want to try and lose them. I could always go down there since it's open again. I'm actually really glad it's open. That's why I was looking down there. I'm like, oh good, it hadn't actually been shut yet. Okay, I got that key, so I need to head downstairs anyway. I think he's upstairs in that other portion. Um, That really is the easiest way to get there. And I bet you this room is just full of zombies. Even though I barricaded it, there's a decent chance it's full of zombies right now. And I'd rather not save it a second time as quickly as we already have. I'm walking slow because he hasn't noticed me. I haven't heard the music kick in yet. Our knife is still armed. So if we gotta cut a few... Ooh. Ah, crap. Well. Not going as well as I liked! Okay. At least the barricades are holding. <laughs> um... Through the door, quickly, quickly. Hey, we make some more bullets already. Sweet. We gotta hurry up, because I'm pretty sure as soon as you come in this room, he automatically knows where you are, whether you pick up the item or not. Yep, I hear him. Oh boy. I think he just entered the main hall with all the liquors. I should have killed the liquors. Oh, we're going to have some problems. Oh, we're going to have some big problems. Okay. Um, what is the easiest way to get out of here? If I run that way, you know, obviously I can't run past him. Uh, I should have saved it. Okay, he's going to be here before I get out that door. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed dust comes down as he's walking around. Oh, no! Oh, no! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh, crap! Oh, no! Oh, we're going to be using up both of these healths. Ow! Son of a freaking biscuit monster! Stay away from my loins! Oh boy. Oh, another one? I did not ask for two! I killed one in this hallway already! Oh. Maybe I should have went back the other way. Oh, I think, it was, I think there would have been a liquor on both sides of the doorway. Honestly, because I only ran into one when I turned right. So there's probably one left and one right waiting on me to come back out. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we need got the large gear. We gotta get to the library. We gotta get to the interrogation room and the clock tower. I don't think he can come into this room either. There's just a lot of rooms he doesn't seem to be allowed to go into. Which is great for the gamer, but not so great for the lore. It's like, I can't walk into the evidence room. It brings up too many bad memories. What? <laughs> you know? Bye. Have a wonderful time. They see me running. They be trying to bite me. Trying to catch me riding dirty. <laughs> there was a plan. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that gunpowder out. Luckily, their first large gunpowder is actually in the clock tower. So we'll grab that one on the way out. Um, might as well go evidence room, I think. Because I'd like to... Oh, but as soon as evidence room happens, he'll break down that wall. Ooh. Can pull straight up Kool Aid Man. Okay, so. Um. You can go away for now. We'll save you for boss fights and stuff. Um. 
Yeah, really, these are the three things I need, and I need to keep them on me. Uh, store that. We'll take a standard spray. And we're going to save it, because we have succeeded in a few minor objectives. <laughs> this is why I'll have trouble with speedrunning, because I'll be like, Oh, you're supposed to get, like, three or less saves? Ooh, that's a little rough. Okay, so we could try the Kool-Aid Man special, and, uh... That's right, I can't actually see the map until I get up here. Okay, so... We gotta get into this room right here. And he'll Kool-Aid the man the crap out of this wall right here. So, I guess I should probably not go there now? Question mark? Uh... We need to do it. We need to get it out of the way. Okay. All we gotta do is run into this room. We'll lose him again. It'll be fine. Because I cannot remember what's in that evidence room. But I'm betting it might be the last... Uh, because things are swapped around in our playthrough right now. And since things are swapped around, that means that... Uh, I think originally the jewel uh, case was down there in the evidence room. On the Leon playthrough. And the jewel case we got upstairs where we got our first um, missing key for the safety deposit room. My guess is the last key for the safety deposit room is in the observation room here. Or interrogation. One or the other. It's in there somewhere. And I would like to go ahead and get that. Because, you know... Uh, more spots for our inventory. It'll be very helpful. Stay quiet. Don't let them know I'm here. I said, don't let them know I'm here. Freaking zombies never listen to me. I honestly think he's inside the room over here. He actually went to the place he's supposed to go to wait for me. <laughs> now, it's Claire. I got attacked by a liquor. Is there one already in here? Hey, buddy. A little gunpowder? Well, thank you. He's so nice. Yeah, you just gotta hope someone doesn't lock the door behind you, trapping you inside, you know? Oh, yep, there it is, the case. So that means Claire's already been through that room, since it's locked. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure that code that I just saw was still the same code. It wasn't a different one. Um, put that there. How are we looking? Room is clear. So Claire clearly got through this area before we did, obviously, once again, keeping up with the story. Because this wall doesn't break down until she comes through. I hate to do this, but I really do need to get that key out, and I can't wait that long. So we're going to go ahead and try to solve this. So I do apologize if this takes a while. That one. Ooh, okay, two in a row. Opposite side. There. Oh, we got that one. Um... So these two are up there. Gonna take a risk. 50-50. Nope. Ah. Oh. Was it this one, this one, that one, that one? Nope, it was not. Okay. Ah, I skipped one. Crap, I hate that. Oh, I'm forgetting my combo already. It was that one is what I was missing. Oh, that sucks. Shoot. I keep messing up that last combo.
There we go. Okay, I'm sitting there like, come on, put your memory to good use. <laughs> I've had to write it down before once because I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, okay, I know this one does this one. So I'm like, one, two, three, four, you know? So I, I was sitting there like, oh man, if this goes any longer, I have to cut it. So I'll probably leave that in. It wasn't super long. But we need that item for sure. We, we cannot leave the extra inventory spots out for now. Uh, time for Kool-Aid guy. Hey, Kool-Aid! What? He didn't... He didn't Kool-Aid man! Are you seriously not going to Kool-Aid guy the wall? I I am both impressed and saddened equally. I thought for sure he was going to be popping out around this corner. What's the likelihood he's going to come through the door before I get to it? <laughs> Downstairs! Run, 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 run! I see I got my knife armed. I do need to switch back to grenades just in case he gets to me. Because I don't want to stick a knife in Mr. X. That's going to be a bad day if I lose the knife into him. Because I ain't getting it back. Okay. Since he's running around, we're going to put that thing away. Um, actually, yeah, we don't have any extra pistol ammo yet, do we? Nope. Okay. So put that away for now. Hold on to that. Store this. I'm glad we got a lot more high caliber ammunition. We're actually making some ammo back. Which is why we've been going with the 9mm rather than the 45 because... Uh, yeah, it's like, ugh, it's going to suck if I uh, cannot utilize it the way I want to. So we achieved that goal. Well, let's go ahead and save it. Safety precautions for recording reasons. I would love to do a speed run if I ever get good at this game, you know? And try to get the MP5 on a single try. Hey, big guy. Well, since he's upstairs, let's go downstairs and get our badge back. Because, uh, we can do it. Why not? I like to keep that thing for a memento. Just because. I forgot it, so, I mean. We got the inventory space. And he's patrolling upstairs. I'd rather not walk out that door. I, I gotta waste time anyway to let him walk away. So if we can let him walk around upstairs and find some corner to hide in, we'll be in good shape by the time we get back up there. Hmm. I still don't understand how uh, Claire is supposed to uh, watch Mr. X get killed by the uh, uh, Birkin monster. I think it was stage two kills him, rips him in half. And then later on, Leon fights him as his final form when he's all burned and stuff. So uh, Now, there is more than one tyrant. Once again, if you go back and watch that video, I recommended the original Resident Evil 2 uh, Enter uh, the Tyrant, Enter Mr. X. There's a helicopter flying overhead. It's got these giant circular pods just full of tyrants in it. I think that's how they delivered Nemesis as well. They just dropped him by pod. And, uh, you know, it's just like they delivered a lot of tyrants. I mean, there was like, if I remember the scene correctly, I think there was like three or four helicopters flying around. And they're dropping off tons of these guys. They're just wiping any witnesses out. Anybody that could say, Raccoon City was destroyed by uh, Umbrella Corporation. It's like, gotta silence them. Gotta silence everybody. Okay, I don't hear him walking around. Let's make a quick run for it. Ooh.
I saw him. You saw him too, didn't you? I feel like he's waiting on us. Did you do that, or is that the one I killed before? Oh, shoot! <laughs> Big baby boy found me! Hey, big guy. Saw that flashlight, huh? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have been shining a flashlight in an open glass door. Mm, get inside! <laughs> I was like... Mm. So I know what's going to happen if he gets his hands on me. Either one of them. Oh, no, he can't come in here! Oh, crap! I was wrong! I was so wrong! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that hurt a lot. Mm, that hurt a lot more than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be orange, but no, it went straight to red. Hey, big guy. Follow your nose wherever it goes. We're going back for that, but we're not going to be able to do it right now. Not with him on our tail. Well, might as well drop this off. You stay there. Oh, he was a little closer than I thought he was! <laughs> Alright. We've taken care of a lot of the problems here, so we're not going to run into any liquors in this area. I, I want to say those liquors did not show up in the, the two in the hallway and the one directly beneath us. Not until uh, we... Uh, I think the helicopter. I think as soon as we did the helicopter, they popped into existence. Because I've been through those hallways... Even um, even up until this point, I had been in those hallways. We're walking slow because the louder noise you make, the more likely he is to find out where you are. Once again, it's a good reason to have the sub gun in the second playthrough because uh, it gives you a chance to have a silenced weapon to get away from him. Clearing these guys out. Guess what? 203. And what was the other one? I think it was 103. Yeah, okay. Ooh. When your butt cheeks clench so hard, you can split an atom between you. <laughs> you know? Oh no. Beautiful inventory. It was a bad move to get hurt like that, but I was kind of in that panic state of mind where I'm like, nope, nope, gotta go, gotta go. If I played it right, I should have tossed a flash bang before I walked into that hallway, and it would have disoriented him. And possibly Mr. X. He's going to casually walk upstairs to the library. We'll casually cross and casually escape him. Because the casual way to play. Nah, screw it, we're running. <laughs> you hear my footsteps? That's the sound of victory! Yeah, big oaf. Can't touch these legs. They're made of steel. You, your legs are actually made of steel. Those bullets bounce off them. I'm not walking across that. I know a trap, but I see one. And that's why you prep the area before <laughs> this point in time. I think there's actually two zombies up here. I, I remember last time when I was playing Claire and I came up here, I was like, where did that second zombie come from? I think I just missed it, because there's one. Yeah, I'm just going to go in. Screw you. 
Ah, survivability increased. Be bad if every time you had a work on the uh, clock tower, you actually had to stop the clock tower in order to pull that part off and stick it in there to move the ladder. All right. All honestly, I would just try to climb up here. I'd just try to uh, scoot up the scaffolding and grab hold of that and just knock it down. But this is a video game. you got to follow their rules. Probably take my shotgun and try to swat it off, you know? <laughs> Did I get back the tool? No, I didn't. I do love trying to cram it in that hole, but... We're going for this right now. You hand me a big guy? Come this way. Oh, beautiful large gunpowder. Yeah, we're saving our 45s for pretty much when we get to the sewers. We'll probably be switching back to that for a little bit because we're not really going to have a stockpile of ammo at that point in time. So I'm pretty sure he can't come in here. So. I said that just a few minutes ago about the uh, evidence room, too, and we saw how that worked out. I just love doing this. I'm going to do it just for the hell of it. <laughs> He's like, I can't cram this giant gear in that small slot. That's what she said. Uh, no, what? But yeah, I mean, this is where I would just take the shotgun and just like just try to knock it off. Oh, well. That's why you can sit next to your brother. I still don't understand how this thing's turning right now because there's nothing turning it. I mean, look. This, this is the end portion. This is supposed to be turning this to make it spin. So, technically, without those parts down there moving, this shouldn't be doing jack squat. This here is a centrifugal force machine being controlled by literally nothing. Unless there's some guy outside that's like turning the wheel by hand. Like, whee! I'm turning the handles! Like, get off that thing. I can hear him downstairs. He's trying to get to us. Ah, fits like a glove. Now the whole thing should be turning. You know? It makes no sense you plug that one in first and it starts moving without the rest of it. If that's the case, the rest of the clock was completely unnecessary. It's just there for looks. Darn it, Billy, you should have tightened down those things. There's nothing breaking loose. And Mr. X is like, Aah! Hope I don't have to write a report on this. Buddy, everybody's dead. You're not writing any reports for here on out for your employment, which is canceled, by the way. All right. Glad we got that extra inventory space. Beautiful space. It's amazing in video games. It's like, as soon as you start the game, we had, what, these spots here? And it's like, oh, man. Uh, we can make it work. We can make it work. Then we get this spot. It's like, oh, it's even better. And then it's here. It's like, man, we got so much room. But then it, the spots fill in just like that. And, th and now we're here with the full deck. Almost the complete one. We got two more to find. And it's still like, man, I just don't have enough inventory space. It's like, you know you played the game with only four or, uh, what was it, eight spots? Yeah, uh, eight spots originally. It's like, you did okay back then. It's just a little bit easier now. Okay, you're down there and you're right there. boo doop boo doop boo Boop, boop. Something opened. Oh, hey! Sorry, I should have went for the head, but I just wanted to stun him, and honestly, I never shot him in the leg, so I'm not really sure how many shots it takes to stun him. Yeah, I'm just gonna move past you there. Don't worry. 
It's only gonna hurt for a second, old yellow. Okay, so that's all. Oh no, I missed something. It's red. Which means I'm gonna need to go back and clear that because I'm a stickler for items. <sighs> I'm not going back right now, though. Is it this way I need to go? It's down the other hall, so no. Is he upstairs or downstairs? Nope, he just came in from outside. You know, I don't think it's worth going after that green herb. I'm pretty sure that was all it was up there. Uh, map, show me what's upstairs. I didn't even see it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I really hope it wasn't bullets. Oh, if it's bullets, I'm going to hate myself. I'm certain I saw a green herb on the balcony about midway. I was so busy looking at the zombie, I didn't even pay attention any longer. Now, I wonder if I could get him to jump down. Nope. Okay, then. It's like, maybe if, you know, that'd be actually really cool. If he heard you downstairs, so he just throws himself off the balcony and lands on the low level. You know, be like, oh, no! Oh, yeah! Kool-Aid! <laughs> I do like the fact I can't hear his footsteps right now. Yep, I hear you. You too. Please tell me he's not up here. Take that in a box of raisins. There it is. You better not be the only thing up here. It was the only thing up here! Ah! Yeah, we're not going back that way, because I'm pretty sure he went that way to get to me. Oh! Thank you, game. Yep, that happened. I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. But where? Oh, boy. Oh, he's on the balcony. Oh, I gave him the, the, the loop around. Oh, lucky me, lucky me. Hey, you are up. I thought I killed you. I think I shot him like two or three times in the head and he fell back. I thought he was done for. I saw an item for a second. But it's blue, so there's nothing there. Oh no, there is another zombie. Only had enough barricades for one of them. Well, you can have that room. Nope, actually, I need to save it. You can have this hallway later. Okay, uh, single herb, you're really not going to do me any good, so we're going to go ahead and put that away. We'll take the mixed bag, why not? Obviously we're going to move that. I, I got my OCD, I know exactly where I'm going to put my items. I try to put my melee and uh, defense weapons at the bottom, along with my... Uh, uh, Special items, so ammunition goes underneath the weapon. The weapons stay at the top. I, I'm very picky about where I put my things. 
I do that in a lot of games. Man, you, you want to know uh, OCD, you should have seen me when I played Fallout 4. That was bad. Bad dog. I shot you like a deer hunter right through the uh, front shoulder blade. Who would have thought I would have taken you down like a single shot? Okay. I'm doing this because I want to try and get by without him. Oh, no, he still got me. Ooh, you still got me, huh? Bad dog. Uh oh, can they actually get through here? Well, not like it's going to matter much in a few moments. <laughs> I think I wrote this combination down, but I did. See? Got it. Got it right there. That should be the combo. Move my finger. The combo for this. So, it may have changed because this is the second run. So, <laughs> if, uh, ooh, actually, I need to spin it upside down because it is. Oh, no. I think it is wrong because it has the two, it has the lines at the top. But this is for Claire. This may not have been Leon's to begin with. Ooh, I may have been bitten off more than I could chew on this one. Okay, so, try and get the obvious parts out of the way. Um, no good. That looks a lot nicer, but not going to do me any good right there. That looks more like what I need. I'm just backfeeding into myself. Okay, um... Ah, now I see. There we go. Well, I'm not gonna write that down anytime soon. That just sucked. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm backfeeding. I'm backfeeding again. Hiding the he healing spray from me, huh? Looks like I might need that soon. <laughs> he ain't gonna need it. And you'd think they would have taken that off of him when they threw him in here. The rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental. Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship Umbrella set up. <laughs> Come on, that. nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. Why did you hear about this? <laughs> Sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are you going to talk to me? Are you lab? Interviews over. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Annette Birkin, he's like, me. Uh, I thought a little bit about doing a Leon cosplay, but I mean, look at me. I don't look at anything like Leon. I I could probably pull off a Barry cosplay, but I don't think I can pull off a Leon. Okay, this is no good right now. We'll stick with the flashbangs. And run, baby, run! Giant zombies! And hopefully not doggos. Now. Okay, put that to use. Thank you, dead man, for giving you a healing spray of life. 
Ooh, that was awfully close. Mm, bad doggies. Mm, bad doggies. Mm, bad doggies are gone. Oh, you hurt the doggies, didn't you? And you hurt me, too. If only I knew the keys were in the SWAT van to begin with, I would have been loaded up on weapons and armor. You should have known that he had a crushing grip. Data, this is getting old. Saving your ass, that's twice. I'll marry you. No, you won't. <laughs> Look, this isn't a game. Oh, those tiny tires aren't holding it back. It dies down here. Well, it does die. It just doesn't stay dead. And there goes all the SWAT weapons in the back. Which brings up a good question. Why does it say SWAT when they have uh, stars? SWAT and stars are basically the same thing, so I mean, you don't have one or the other. You have you them explain what's on it. both. Maybe. I don't know why you have stars Let's and SWAT. Special Let's tactics and rescue squad. Uh, special weapons and tactics. Or no, I think stars is special tactics and rescue squads. Yeah. So yeah, that was it. I was like, uh, I'm trying to remember the letters exactly. So, um, Claire ran at this point because he was right behind her. You know, I have never been back to look at this. Okay, this one was just transport. It didn't have any actual, uh, weapon cages in here. Doesn't mean we couldn't have drove this through the wall to begin with. Yeah, see, SWAT. We got multiple SWAT vans. I mean, how bad was there crime in this place when you have multiple SWAT vans? You got three of them. One, two, and three. It's a rough neighborhood around this place. Raccoon City, uh, they don't play, uh, they don't play, uh, nicely with strangers, I guess. Um, actually, before we leave, step back in here. Make sure everything is blue. Because we ain't coming back. Can't get the chief's office. Oh, we are good. Not a thing left behind. Or was there? Now, obviously, we'll have a chance to come back when we get the, uh, the secret entrance for the phase one that gives you the access to the, uh, the, uh... Is that the intel you needed? Upgrade to either the Magnum or the uh, subgun. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Hmm, no good supplies. I'll take the Bronco though. They cost me a Jeep, and once again they got an armored car. So I really feel like Raccoon City is a lot rougher town than I thought it was. Ah, the Midwestern town of Raccoon City. Well known for its violent gangs and uh, violent zombie outbreaks. Ah, <laughs> those l lucky kids and their zombos. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. This wasn't a sinkhole. This was an uh, oversized badger that dug this, clearly. With Raccoon City being the way it is, it makes a lot more sense than the sinkhole opening up. Good grief, I mean... It when a sinkhole opens up, it's just a hole. This thing is the entire region. Finally, we get our shotgun upgrade, which means we're going to be grabbing ourselves the shotgun to start carrying. Beautiful baby. Custom part for the uh, W870 that uh, ups its max capacity to 8. Greater muzzle velocity, less spread, makes it a mu uh, each shot extra powerful. Yeah. Oh, they actually made it hollow. They didn't do the bottom tube. Now they're good. They didn't. Ah, nice. All right. Oh, I almost forgot about you. I'd have been upset if I looked on my map and saw I missed something. Cannot leave the bullets behind now. Got to grab everything. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said, Police! Don't move. Police! Don't Just point a gun at me. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you off. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. 
You meet Kendo also in uh, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. I thought he got bitten, though, in Nemesis. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate. Not words you want to use in front of a man whose daughter is standing right there that you're talking about killing off. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Like I said, Claire's story is far more emotional and... You know, this is a sad part, but, I mean, you gotta think about the orphanage and all the death and everything. I mean, that was far better story than the small amount of motion to get here, plus the issue with, uh, with, uh, Ada's play. You're supposed to know something. How I started today! Huh? I started today. I know jack shit. I drove into town and lost my car. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. Now, did she get bit? Because I don't really see a bite mark on her arms or anything. Usually they would probably have bandages or something to indicate or blood mark them. She might have gotten bitten by a rat or something, you know? If you played the, uh, the Survivors uh, multiplayer from back in the day, you know that's how the Survivors are supposed to be infected. Because as soon as the game starts... Um, the multiplayer survival Resident Evil game, uh, all your characters are infected. And it shows that, like, the, the G virus and the T virus got Excuse loose because of the uh, rats. Just like the Black Plague, uh, bubonic plague back in the ancient times. So, you know, it starts off, you just see the rats running through the sewers, the virus and everything getting loose. And then uh, it shows. Uh, uh, the rats then running around inside the bar that you start the first uh, game in. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. Yeah, well, I mean, you did a horrible job, but I mean, it's your first day. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city. Luckily, I call for backup. Yeah. FBI's on the way. What? What did you say? <laughs> the uh, funny thing is, they said they don't know who you are. I said Special Agent Ada Wong, but I don't know. They, they just don't seem to know you. Bye! <laughs> Sir, I heard shots fired. Are you okay in there? Ah, he's dead. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? I want to get past the you. Pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. They had a virus. That explains the horrible things I've seen. No, you have no idea, man. This is only the beginning. Well, technically, the, not the real beginning. It's a little That's bit further than the beginning. Anyway. She's the one umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. Still blue in this region. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. It's funny, Leon is all, you know, like... We'll kick her ass, and Claire's like this poor woman and her child. You know, it's like um, I think I left something here when I was playing as uh. Who said they don't know? A lot of times, when a big company starts up a place, usually the the people come behind. So I mean. In this case, it makes sense that, uh... Jesus! That an earthquake? Nah. That's, I think, what I missed. Because I think I was looking back and I was like, Wait, I missed something! No! What the hell? Spaceship. It's blue, though, so we're good. Anything in that room? Barrel and a box. I think that's this room, actually. It was. Uh, so we got 30 rounds of large caliber handgun. We're going to put this away for now because we don't have a lot of ammunition for the 9mm right now.
Do I really want to pull the shotgun out now? You know what? We're going to take the shotgun out now. I thought about it for just a second. I'm like, oh, I don't really want to do that. But I did say I was going to pull it out once we got the first upgrade. Um, there. You just had to be out off spot, aren't you? All right. Now we're going to be able to decapitate some zombies. Uh, I do not want to carry a 20 extra shotgun shells, so we're not going to do that. We got our knife, our flashbangs. I think we'll carry the M1911 just with the seven rounds in it. Just in case we run out, because we know what happened when I played as Claire. And I was like, oh, we'll be fine. I hopped down that hole. Climbed up that a ramp, stabbed the zombie with my knife, and I was out of bullets. I'm like, ah, ha, 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 running around, and got killed. So yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna play that. We'll come back to Matilda later when we have more gunpowder build up. We only got thirty rounds of the large caliber, so that's why I don't really want to use beyond the seven rounds. That's that's our emergency backup gun. The shotgun is our primary right now. Actually, since that's primary, let's go ahead and switch it. No. There we go. Because I'd rather not waste a shotgun shell dealing with the big lizard, you know? Mr. Alligator! Any more loot around here? Any more loot at all? Man, I feel like I'm going to lose something in the sewer. Serpentine finding loot. Serpentine finding loot. Nothing so far. Finding loot. Hmm, the abyss. We should totally go down there. Okay, well, I guess we're going to carry three extra bullets then. And it's blue. I guess we'll get through with the alligator run, and then we'll, uh... It's not too late to turn back, man. Oh, it's, it's too late, all right. We hopped down that one, one way, uh, <laughs> scaffolding earlier. It's, it's, there's no way back in this game. Man, I just jumped into sewage water. What could go wrong? You sure this is the right way? Hey, I can see up your skirt. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait there. Gotta be a sucky way to go to work every day. Run! Jill has to deal with giant earthworms. He's gotta deal with an angry alligator. Get out of there! I played Crash Bandicoot before. I know how to do this. That's a bad day. Ooh, he almost got my arm there. Run, 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 run. You gotta run. You're terminated, punk. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mittens died. Chew on that. Uh, one liner. <laughs> son of a bitch. He's not wrong. R2! Open the door, R2! We're trapped! How do I get out of this? Oh, that's out. Just get up here. She knew another way. She's like San. She can always just find a back door to things. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Well, technically, I. Yeah. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. I'm impressed I haven't been shot yet because of you. 
So yeah, that's your first hit that she's uh <laughs> going sneaky getting out of here. Come on, let me click it, dang it. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? Yes. They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Gonna shoot you. Gonna so shoot you. Alligator was. Shoot you. Annette is far more dangerous. No, she's not. Birkin's the more dangerous one. He's the one that turned into a monster. She's just an angry lady. Hmm. Any items? No, it's blue. There we go. This will be our stopping point for today's episode. Room's also blue. So, thank you for stopping by and joining. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe for future content. Feel like it. Drop comp below for the of this game and other things. Until next time, take care, be safe out there, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.